people often call the lion the king of the jungle, so it may surprise you to learn that there are actually some animals that can beat a lion in a fight. Yeah, really, these are the 20 strongest animals that the lion never wants to meet. Number 20, Hyena. In the wild, hyenas and lions are known for their fierce rivalry. Aside from their antagonism, they have a shared goal, survival. In the outdoors, daily survival is arduous, and finding enough food is often difficult. Do hyenas eat lions, you might wonder? Hyenas do, in fact, eat lions. The hyena's pack has incredible strength, but hyenas rarely chase lions, however. If a lion is left alone, hyenas will try to kill and eat it. Hyenas, on the other hand, and prefer to avoid mature male lions and only attack frail lionesses and young lions. Despite their status as jungle kings, lions face stiff competition from hyenas. In the game of nature, being bigger and stronger isn't always the most important factor. While they are phylogenetically related to large cats, they are classified as members of the suborder Felidae and are in some ways more similar to dogs in behavior. Hyenas and canines are both non-arboreal, cursorial predators that grab prey with their teeth rather than claws. Their calloused feet with broad, blunt, non-retractable claws are ideal for rushing and making sharp bends, and they eat food swiftly and may stash it. Hyenas' grooming, scent marking, defecation habits, mating, and parental behavior, on the other hand, are similar to those of other feliforms. Hyenas are well represented in the folklore and mythology of the human civilizations that coexist with them. Hyenas are often seen as terrifying and deserving of scorn. Hyenas are supposed to have the ability to affect people's souls, plunder cemeteries, and kidnap animals and children in various civilizations. They are none the less really cool and curious animals. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19, Tiger. If a battle occurs, the tiger will always win in this big cat face-off. Lions hunt in pride so they'd be in a group, but tigers are solitary creatures so they'd be alone. A tiger is often larger than a lion in size. A Siberian or Bengal tiger would be chosen as winner by most experts over an African lion. The grasslands are ruled by lions. The forest is ruled by tigers. But if they met face-to-face, -face, who would win? Let's start with the size. Tigers are larger than lions, weighing up to 800 pounds compared to 550 for lions. However, the two cats aren't that dissimilar in size. Muscle weighs more than fat, as you may recall from high school health class, which helps to explain the tiger's additional pounds. As well, it appears that the tiger has a physical edge over the lion. The tiger is one of the world's most well-known and popular charismatic megafauna. It has appeared on new numerous flags, coats of arms, and as mascots for athletic teams throughout its historical range and continues to be shown in current cinema and literature. It has also appeared on many flags, coats of arms, and as mascots for sporting teams. The tiger is India's, Bangladesh's, Malaysia's, and South Korea's national animal. Liger and Tigon hybrids were created by crossing captive tigers with lions. They have morphological and behavioral characteristics that are similar to both parent species. Due of the emphasis on conservation, hybrid breeding is currently discouraged. Number 18, Leopard. Is it possible for a leopard to kill a lion if the lion is younger than the leopard? Or if the lion was just a cub, it's possible. However, there is no contest between fully grown lions and fully grown leopards. The lion wins. The reason for this is that they have a powerful biting force and are significantly larger than leopards. Except for size, lions and leopards are nearly identical under the skin. Basically, it's like you're fighting someone twice your size. All of the same talents and abilities, but twice the size. 
That's exactly what the leopard is up against. He's fighting himself, but double the size. The leopard has short legs and a lengthy body with a big skull when compared to other wild cats. Rosettes cover the animal's fur. It has a similar appearance to the jaguar, but is smaller and lighter, with smaller rosettes that are more densely packed and lack center spots. Black panthers are both leopards and jaguars that are melanistic. It's well-camouflaged fur, opportunistic hunting behavior, diverse food, strength, and ability to adapt to a variety of environments, ranging from rainforest to steppe, including dry and mountainous locations, differentiate the leopard from other cats. It has a top speed of 58 kilometers per hour, so it should be able to avoid any large lions it encounters. Number 17. Cheetah Cheetahs lack the strength to carry their prey up trees to keep them secure from scavengers like a leopard can, and they also lack the physical power to defend themselves against a lion. As a result, they prefer to prey when larger predators are not around or are less active. To find out how threats from larger predators impact cheetah behavior while feeding, one team of experts looked over 35 years of data from more than 400 hunts involving 159 cheetahs in the Serengeti in northern Tanzania. Cheetah strategies differ depending on the sort of threat they encounter from large predators, according to the study. Theft of kill is the main hazard to male cheetahs and solitary females without cubs. As a result, they don't spend much time looking for attacks and instead focus on devouring their prey as soon as possible before it is grabbed away from them. The study team believes that a cheetah's behavior after a hunt is influenced by the region it is in. Cheetah moms, for example, may be less watchful in the Kalahari area of South Africa and Botswana's Galagadi Transfrontier Park, where lion concentrations are three times lower and spotted hyena populations are 100 times lower than in the Serengeti. Number 16. African Cape Buffalo Cape buffalo have been known to hunt down and kill lion babies as a form of preventative punishment. They basically stamp out newborn lions before they grow into large ones, which is quite brutal. If we allow the lions to use the ambush techniques that his species is known for, the lion may be able to prevail. Adult buffalo have been reported to be killed by lions during lone hunts, however only a male lion is large enough to do it. African buffaloes are not related to domestic cattle and are only distantly linked to other bigger bovines. The African buffalo, unlike its Asian equivalent, the water buffalo, has never been tamed, possibly due to its unpredictable temperament. <gasps> Apart from lions and huge crocodiles, adult African buffaloes have few non-human predators. The Cape Buffalo, being a member of the Big Five, is a prized hunting trophy. It's known as the Black Death, or the Widowmaker, and it's commonly considered a very dangerous animal. It gores and kills about 200 individuals per year, according to some estimates. African buffaloes are commonly blamed for killing more people in Africa than any other animal. However, hippopotamuses and crocodiles are also blamed. Large herbivores, on the other hand, have been reported to attack more humans on average than lions or leopards, and to cause more fatalities during assaults than predators in Uganda. Number 15. Zebra when confronted, zebras are quickly irritated and aggressive, according to zoologists. And they don't only kick with their legs. Instead, it glances between its legs to precisely place its kicks, then bucks and kicks with both rear legs furiously. Furthermore, no horse has ever broken a lion's jaw, yet it is commonly known that few people have ever walked away after being kicked by a zebra. An animal that is also known to inflict serious bite wounds on each other and on humans while defending itself against humans. Zebras are members of the horse family, which includes more than seven different species, including the wild horse and this beautiful striped beast of the African savanna. For the ancestors of zebras to survive in the fast-changing environment, nature gave them different abilities to other animals, including super predators of the savanna, where there is normally nowhere to hide. 
but the stripes give them excellent camouflage. Zebras are lateral-eyed animals, which means their eyes are on the sides of their heads, and give them a wide range of view of more than 350 degrees, with roughly 65 degrees of binocular vision and 285 degrees of monocular vision. According to scientists, zebras have muscular hindquarters that can produce a kick powerful enough to shatter a crocodile's jaw. Zebras are noted for having the strongest kick and have been reported to kill a 280 kilogram male African lion with a single body kick. Number 14. Hungry Crocodile Attacking a Lion Crocodiles have been reported to attack lions drinking at the water's edge on occasion, and lions will retaliate. Crocodiles, on the other hand, aren't easy to kill. Crocodiles have excellent night vision and hunt mostly at night. They take advantage of the fact that most prey animals have poor nocturnal eyesight. Cones and many rods make up the light receptors in crocodilians' eyes. Hence, it's believed that all crocodilians can perceive colors. Crocodiles' pupils are like those of domestic cats with vertical slits. One hypothesis for the development of slit pupils is that they efficiently block out more light than a circular pupil, which helps to protect the eyes throughout the day. Crocodiles have a highly developed sense of smell, which allows them to identify prey or animal corpses on land or in water from great distances. It's conceivable that crocodiles employ olfaction to help them hatch their eggs. Crocodiles, despite their lethargic look, have a lightning-fast strike and are top predators in their ecosystem. With several species fighting and killing other predators, such as sharks and large cats, crocodile stomachs are the most acidic of any animal. Bones, hooves, and horns are easily digested by them. Number 13. Wild Dog can a lion be killed by a wild dog? Wild dogs can't cope with lion's raw power for the most part, but there have been a few instances where they have beaten their feline adversaries. Such occurrences are uncommon and generally require certain circumstances, such as an injured or ill lion or a lone cat captured by a large pack. Large predators seldom get along with one another. Rival meat eaters such as spotted hyenas, leopards, cheetahs, and even wild dogs are easily killed by lions, Africa's greatest terrestrial predators. The lioness was outnumbered on this occasion, yet her display of power was enough to dissuade the agitated dogs. Wild dogs usually hunt small to mid-sized antelope, however they will occasionally take on larger game like as zebras or wildebeest. When it comes to food competition, they are more at odds with spotted hyenas than lions because of their food preferences. Hyenas have been known to trail wild dogs on the hunt in the hopes of luring them away from a kill and snatching a quick meal. In locations where lions are more common, African wild dog population numbers are low. Lions disseminated one of the reintroduced packs in Atosha National Park. During the 1960s, a lion population fall in the Gorongoro Crater led to an increase in African wild dog sightings, which then declined after the lions recovered. Number 12. Baboon is it possible for baboons to kill a lion? When adult baboons encounter leopard and lion babies abandoned by adult lions, they are known to kill them. It may appear terrible to us, but if this baboon kills a predator, it knows that if the lion has its opportunity in two years, the positions will be reversed. Large males will frequently confront them by yawning, flashing their eyelids, making motions, and running after the intruder slash predator. Troop is the collective term for baboons. The majority of baboons are organized into hierarchical groups. The average group size is approximately 50 animals, although it can range from 5 to 250, depending on the species, location, and time of the year. Baboon social dynamics can also differ. In the 1980s, Robert Sapolsky wrote about a troop called the Forest Troop that had significantly less aggressive social dynamics after its most aggressive males died off during a tuberculosis outbreak, leaving a skewed gender ratio of 
of majority females and a minority of low-aggression males. This low-aggression culture remained far into the 1990s, and it was extended to new male recruits. Babi was a revered animal in Egyptian mythology because he was the deification of the Hamadryas baboon. It is also known as the Sacred Baboon, since it was recognized as Thoth's companion. Number 11. Dog Chasing Lions This is the moment when a brave, small dog screams his displeasure at not one but two wild African lions, causing the male lion to flee the irate pooch. The pair is shown having a pleasant walk at the beginning of the film, but as they strut their way through the long grass, they are quickly assaulted by the little dog and his loud voice. The two big cats dwell in the Gorongoro Conservation Area, which is located in northern Tanzania and has the world's biggest dormant, undamaged volcanic crater. The puppy stays a safe distance away at first, barking at the lion and his lioness, but tired up with being ignored, the dog rushes up to the couple and confronts the guy front on. The puppy leaps around as if attempting to bite the wild cat's mane as the dog tackles the lion. Those filming the clip can be heard gasping in amazement. Surprisingly, the lion rushes back in an attempt to flee the dog, as though he is afraid of the angry tiny pup. The video shows the little mutt turning his back on the normally fearsome beast and wandering away after proving his worth and scaring the huge beast. The Maasai people, a semi-nomadic community largely found in Kenya and northern Tanzania, are most likely the owners of the hound. The Maasai tribes, livestock routinely graze alongside wild animals, which is alarming. Number 10. An angry hippo charges a trespassing lion. While the lion is considered as the king of the jungle, there is one African animal that even the king is scared of, the hippo, Africa's most violent mammal. A territorial hippo took note when a male lion strolled down to a watering hole to grab a drink. Watch the interaction here in this crazy clip. This lion was really fortunate to be able to flee. Another lion was not so fortunate as you can see in the video. In a combat between hippos and lions, who would win? Did you know that the hippopotamus is frequently referred to as the world's most dangerous big animal, killing an estimated 500 humans each year? In Africa, a single lion cannot defeat a hippo in a one-on-one -on -one fight because the hippo's hide is too robust and thick to cause any significant harm. The lion doesn't have the strongest bite at 650 psi. A hippo, on the other hand, is only too ready to show you how violent and angry they can be with their 1825 psi bite and capacity to run up to 30 miles per hour. Who knew? Hippos assess each other by expanding their mouths to 150 degrees and stretching them to their full length of 4 to 5 feet. The lion's mouth is too small to cause considerable damage to the hippo. Almost every part of the lion can be crushed by the hippo. However, lions in a group may inflict several minor cuts, causing a hippo to become weak from blood loss and fall over, exposing its softer underbelly. Number 9. Rhino vs. Lion it would seem reasonable to assume that a lion would act as the predator and kill anything in its path. A lion is strong and quick, but full-grown rhinos are far too large for a lion to handle. Rhinos are also extremely swift, though they don't appear to be, and also they're nimble. With their horns, they can easily pivot to defend themselves, even if the rhino's horns have been removed, as conservationists sometimes do to protect them from themselves. They will still use their stump to defend. A lion will only attack a rhino if it is wounded and alone, or if it is a newborn calf. If the calf's mother is around, she will defend her child with her life, which makes the lions think twice. A rhino mother and her youngster have frequently been sighted approaching a lion pride. 
Of course, this appears insane, but she will fight the lions if they do anything. It's almost as if she's showing her child what lions are capable of, but she'll step in if things get too violent. Rhino skin is also extremely tough and a lion's time and energy would be wasted pursuing a rhino as a meal. The African rhinoceros, as well as the Sumatran rhinoceros, have two horns, but the Indian and Javan rhinoceros only have one. The black Javan and Sumatran rhinoceros are all classified as critically endangered by the IUCN Red List. Number 8. Elephant Elephants inflict a lot of damage on lions because of their size. Even if the lion succeeds and the elephant does not kill him, the ordeal may deplete the lion's ability to hunt anything else. Which animal, an elephant or a lion, would win in a fight? Lions are the only predators capable of killing an elephant, aside from humans. Males are better suited to the job since they are 50% heavier than females. Normally it takes seven lionesses to kill an elephant, but two males might do it in the same amount of time. A single male lion may easily overcome a juvenile elephant. When lions pursue elephants, they mainly go after young or female elephants and attack from behind. They surround a straggler, leaping onto its back and flanks, out of the trunk's path, and drag it to the ground. Elephants may prevent their attacks by clumping together as lions never go for a direct assault. The calves go in the center while the adults create a powerful defensive ring of tusks and trunks facing outwards. During the dry season, the lions of Savuti Botswana have adapted to hunting elephants usually calves, juveniles, and even sub-adults, and a pride of 30 lions has been regularly reported killing youngsters aged 4 to 11 years, as well as a young bull of around 15 years in an uncommon event. However, any lion would be quite dangerous in this situation because an elephant is so large and powerful. Number 7. Honey Badger According to The Independent, honey badgers have been dubbed the most fearless animal in the world by the Guinness Book of Records, and can even fend off much larger predators like lions and hyenas. The honey badger is renowned for its toughness, aggressiveness, and strength. The honey badger has gained the distinction of being the most courageous mammal on the planet for a reason. This predator is recognized for its formidable protective powers and aggressive attitude, despite its diminutive size. A video that has gone viral on the internet shows a couple of honey badgers doing precisely that. A pair of honey badgers are seen taking on a pride of lions in the film, which has reappeared on social media after being uploaded by Indian Forest Service officer Susanta Nanda. Despite being outnumbered by creatures several times their size, the honey badgers were seen winning the fight and forcing the huge cats to flee. Number 6. Wild Boar A boar battle begins with a challenge, usually in the form of grunts and postures. If a boar accepts the challenge, he will approach with stiff-legged walk and bristles erect, and a silent, pushing contest will begin. A power test from shoulder to shoulder, there will be no significant violence if one hog can push the other out of the way. The battle for equal combatants, on the other hand, is only getting started. The boars clench their jaws and drool froth, signaling that they are ready to fight. The pumped-up boars then ram their massive heads and tusks into the opponent's torso. The beating, groaning, and paining squeals begin now. The foamy slobber soars in the air, lands on the ground, and splatters all over the fighters. It might be a struggle to the death, but it seldom happens happens right away. The loser is the first to leave the battleground to live or die on his own. In addition, the winner will either die or depart to heal from his injuries. But what if the boar had to battle a lion? That'll be a lot more difficult, but not impossible, as we can see here. A lion can sometimes be defeated by a wild boar. For millennia, the wild boar has had a long relationship with humans, having been the progenitor of most domestic pig varieties and a big game animal. 
The distribution of wild boar has shifted drastically in recent centuries, owing mostly to human hunting and, more recently, captive wild pigs escaping into the wild. Boar numbers have been declining in several locations prior to the 20th century, with British populations likely becoming extinct by the 13th century. Number 5. Wildebeest a solitary lion must exercise extreme caution while attacking a wildebeest by itself, as anything less than perfect success is unlikely to be worth the risk. Wildebeest are extremely powerful animals that may injure even a lion. Wildebeest can run at speeds of up to 80 kilometers per hour. Herding is the principal defense strategy in which the young animals are guarded by the older, bigger animals, as the herd rushes as a unit. Predators usually try to isolate a young or sick animal so they may attack without having to worry about the rest of the herd. Wildebeest have evolved more complex cooperative behaviors such as individuals taking turns napping while others keep guard against approaching predators at night. Vultures regularly follow wildebeest migrations because wildebeest carcasses are a valuable source of food for these scavengers. Vultures take over 70% of the available wildebeest corpses. Vultures have suffered as a result of a decrease in the quantity of migratory wildebeest. Number 4. Porcupine while porcupines appear to be innocuous, they have been known to kill lions, leopards, and hyenas in the past. When predators come too close, their distinctive quills are expelled as a defense strategy, and they may produce ugly wounds that can lead to lethal infections. Sight, scent, and sound all play a role in a porcupine's defensive behavior. These behaviors are frequently seen when a porcupine is upset or annoyed. Quill erection, teeth clattering, smell producing, and assault are the four basic displays exhibited in porcupines. The quills or spines of porcupines come in a variety of shapes and sizes, depending on the species, but they are all modified hairs covered in thick keratin plates. Contact with the porcupine causes the quills to be loosened, and they may fall out when the porcupine shakes its body. New quills sprout to replace those that have been lost. Porcupines were once thought to be capable of projecting their quills a long distance towards an opponent, but this has since been disproved. There are some antibacterial characteristics in the quills, which are linked to the free fatty acids that coat the quills. The antibacterial qualities are thought to help a porcupine who has self-injured itself. Number 3. Giraffe the adult male giraffe is the world's tallest mammal. Measuring 19 feet tall and weighing up to 3,500 pounds, yet you may be surprised to learn that they fight in a violent and kind of funny manner. The giraffe is said to have evolved its remarkable body and outlived its progenitors by straining for the trees despite the lack of a fossil record. Throughout their lives, males will engage in necking wrestling matches, in which they will stand next to one another furiously whipping their necks and pound one another with their heavy heads. The ossicones or horns, on the other hand, are blunt, and these confrontations are more like strength and fitness tests that conclude when the weaker opponent yields, seldom resulting in harm. Instead, the combatants would generally cuddle and groom each other afterward, which may occasionally lead to sexual intercourse. A fight between a lion and a giraffe is bad news for a lion. Due to its enormous size and height, a lion can never easily defeat a giraffe. A lion can never reach a giraffe's throat for a bite, which is how it generally generally attacks large animals. When lions hunt adult giraffes, they try to knock them from their feet and drag them down, but one kick can be deadly. Number 2. Snake Venomous snakes account for around a quarter of all snakes, with some of them being exceedingly deadly. If one of the most lethal snakes, such as mambas, cobras, coral snakes, or rattlesnakes, injects a hemotoxin or neurotoxin into a lion, the excitement and reaction of even a large wildcat actually increases the circulation of the venom to the animal's organs, greatly compromising their ability to fight back. Unfortunately, depending on the location of the bite and the circumstances 
consequences of the envenomation. A big cat may not survive as most venom causes irreversible damage to a mammal's kidneys, liver, and other vital organs. Hemorrhage is caused by a snake that is venom with hemotoxin. The bite of such venomous snakes can leave significant damage and suffering. A nasty bite can result in necrosis of an animal's tissue, and the more excited the bitten animal is, the faster circulating blood carrying snake venom is spread, accelerating the poisonous venom in the organs of a mammal, bird, or other prey. Number 1. Oryx the genus Oryx includes four huge antelope species known as Oryxes. Their large horns are practically straight, and their fur is pale with contrasting black patterns on the face and on the legs. The Scimitar Oryx is the exception, with no black markings on the legs, just faint dark markings on the head, an ochre neck, and obviously decurved horns. Only a captive breeding effort and reintroduction into the wild rescued the Arabian Oryx from extinction, because oryxes have been known to kill lions with their horns, they are often referred to as saber antelopes. The oryx is Qatar's national animal, and its airline, Qatar Airways, has an oryx as its emblem. The U.S. Department of Game and Fish purposely introduced 95 gems bock into New Mexico's White Sands Missile Range between 1969 and 1977, and the population is currently believed to be between 3,000 and 6,000 animals. Oryxes are categorized as large game in the state of New Mexico, and can be hunted. What other animals could defeat a lion? Have you ever seen a lion fighting another animal at the zoo? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.